this is Daiso. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Fauzan Berizwan. The title of our project is The Impact of Gamified Vocabulary Learning. Now, let's meet my coach and teammates. Hi everyone, I am Teacher Yeni, and now I am the coach of this group proudly present to you, The Seven Stars. Hi everyone, my name is Nura Imutia. Hi, my name is Nura Ispeha. Hello, my name is Ras Adina. Hello, my name is Yusri Rasa. Hi everyone, my name is Sashabi. Hi, my name is Kavitra. The problem statements are, students could not remember the idioms with the conventional way of teaching. The second one is, students could not focus in the class with the conventional teaching approach such as using worksheets or answering exercises in the books. With gamification, it was fun and engaging as students needed to answer the questions online using quizzes and word walls. The objective of this gamification is to investigate the role of gamification vocabulary in assisting students to memorize the words and meanings. Technology is constantly evolving. The many technological advancements are one of the many reasons traditional learning is outdated. Students don't just learn in school. They can learn from other sources such as videos, games, blogs, and etc. Books and traditional classroom schooling lack depth, interest, engagement, and motivation. Gamification takes on a different approach. It uses game elements to reinvent traditional learning methods. It offers better learning outcomes, student engagement, understanding, and learning experience. Gamification is not just about playing games, it is about adding game elements to learn game settings. Some of these game mechanics include leaderboards, badges, and rewards. They provide measurable outcomes for the entire classroom. In a research conducted by Chen and Liang in 2022, we specific the questionnaire surveys to 187 students from one university of China to find out whether gamification is positively related to students' enjoyment. The results shows that gamification improves students' study engagement through the indirect effects of enjoyment and self-efficacy. In 2022, Rao and his friends explained in their paper, how features of gamification impact learners' engagement and motivation in learning topics on sustainability. Their study applied a quantitative approach involving 33 primary school English teachers and its implementation in education. So, the findings found that gamification can engage learners in sustainability issues, create a deeper understanding of the topic, and really it directly to learning values and decision making process. Zainuddin and Fresh in 2020 assessed the impact of gamified learning on student learning performance and engagement in informative assessment contents. This study has shown that uh, transforming a conventional quiz into a gamified e quiz promotes a more engaging and enjoyable experience for learners. The results showed that quizzes group has the highest mean score. In a research conducted by Ostuk and Kogmas in 2019, revealed that the social studies education, which is reinforced by gamification activities, contributes significantly more to, to the students' academic achievement towards the social studies course than the traditional method. They found that the students in the experimental group, consists of 31 students, showed more interest to the course, whereas the students in the control group, consists of 29 students, did not uh, show the same level of interest felt bored and did not want to participate in the course. Hi everyone, now I'm going to share how we implemented the project works. There are all together 26 sets of games in work walls. The games were conducted in the class and all of us played the role as facilitators. This implementation took about 4 weeks. Before we started the games, uh, we conducted pre-tests to get the scores of prior knowledge. For the first game, my classmate had to match up the cards of words to form an idiom. There were 10 sets of this part. For the next game, my classmate needed to drag each idiom to its meaning. There were 8 sets for this game. And the last game, my classmate had to fill in the blanks with the right idiom in sentences. There were 8 sets of this game. After they went through all the stages, a post-test was administered to garner their scores. Subsequently, my teammate Pavitra will report the scores. And students with higher scores for each game were rewarded. I'm going to show the marks that we have corrected. These are the means that we have garnered for both tests. As we can see here, there was a significant increase in the scores of the students before and after the intervention. 
the mean for the pre-test was 28 with the standard deviation of 6.4. It increased to 34.3 and the standard deviation was 4.7 for the post-test. The mean increase in the test cost was 6.3 with the 95% of confidence interval ranging from 3.1 to 9.5. Do you enjoy learning through gamification compared to conventional learning practice? Uh, for me, yes, uh, because it's very fun and interesting. And also, uh, and also, it's a good way for people to teach a weak student in every subject. Students can learn better and easily from, uh, from, the, from the game compared with, uh, compared with computational learning practice. It's more enjoyable uh, to uh, remember this idiom through game uh, compared to book. Of course, uh, because uh, while playing games, we can learn more knowledge. We can learn some new uh, idioms. That's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.